Hey guys, my name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. I am back with a brand new tutorial and uh, this time I wanted to show you how to take your motion capture data from Axis Neuron into 3D Studio Max and apply to your to the biped. In the past, I've created I created a tutorial showing how to stream live the motion capture data that you've captured using the Perception Neuron motion capture suit and sent it to iClone. So today I have this um, session that I captured using the motion capture suit, perception motion capture suit. And I would like to take this and apply it onto this Iron Man character and see how he how it works out. So this is a, a rigged using a biped. And I'm using uh, 3D, Studio, 3D Studio Max 2017. So I hope this will be helpful to you and the, the Max users out there. <laughs> I hope it uh, serves as a, a good tutorial. So let's get started. Uh, so first things. Um, well, this is about well 3,521 frames. And you can see me there with the mouse. Then I step away. And the data looks great no doubt about it you can see the the finger capture okay so um, i don't think you i mean after your motion capture session you don't need to send every single part of it but uh, find an area for example uh, maybe um, i would like to see iron man do you know this part right here like a ready mod right so i'm just gonna trim this I, I drag on this hand right here and wait until drag it until the playback is right at the beginning right here okay and then at the end I drag to where I want the motion to, to end so like maybe right there <laughs> has some funny fingers that had to be fixed but anyway uh, let's go uh, and drag this as well again trying to match this up to here uh, those are the only frames that I want right here. So if I play back, um, I get a test of, you know, what I'm going to be sending to 3 Studio Max. Okay. So now that you have the file that you want, the range of frames that you want to send, the key is you go to File, Export, and there are several file you know, versions of uh, BVH that you can send. There's 3D Studio, of course, 3D Studio Max, Process <laughs> Calculation Files, FBX. So what you need is the 3DS Max Biped BVH. It's very important that you use this to send to 3D Studio Max. So select that. And the, this in this particular file format, everything is already set up to work with the, the biped. So there's nothing really that you need to change. So give your character a name. I'll just give this to, uh, uh, call it tutorial. Uh, eh. And we're gonna go exp find a folder where you're gonna export this. And you can even adjust the frames here by typing in the range if you already have noted it down. And then just export the file. So when it's done, now you can go to 3D Studio Max. Okay. So if you tried, if you were to try to imp import the file as it is, the character is gonna be huge. Okay. So this is the I, I went through this and <laughs> I kind of tripped over it, but I found a way to make it work. So what I suggest, and other people might do it different, but what I have found to work for me is that I open a brand new Max scene and I go to to the systems, you know, tab over here on the mode fighter, and I click on the biped and I drag one in here. Now yours might come in without any finger, you know, nodes or how many toes. So make sure you have five toes, make sure you have five fingers and three uh you know finger links so that you can have the fingers otherwise you miss out on that the nice data that is going to come in from the perception neuron motion capture suit and axis neuron all right so 
when you're done with this, um, go to the motion tab up here. You don't need to go to the biped section right here. What you need to go, what you need to do is go directly to the motion capture tab. Uh, it it might be uh, it might not be expanded with the, when the when you open it the first time, but expand it and load motion capture file. So this is the file we exported, ready mode tutorial A. Again, you gotta find it in the folder where you saved it, and just go ahead and open it. And don't worry about changing this just yet. Uh, if you feel like you need to do some key reduction, you can do that. But just to get this tutorial over, and so you get you get yourself jumping in, just say okay for now. All right. You notice the character became huge. That's what was going to happen to your character had you import, imported this file directly into 3 Studio Max. Okay, so this guy is like a giant of some kind, but look, um, the animation is actually a one-to-one -one ratio. In no sliding to uh, feet, everything is nice as it was in, even the finger, that's how you know it actually came through, because remember the finger, the finger was kind of bent in uh, axis neuron. Well, when you play back, you can actually see that, and those are things that you can fix easily in a motion builder and also, also back in a access neuron. So, and we have a file ready, okay? So, this file we can now save as a beep file. So, go ahead and call this, uh, we just call it tutorial A and save. Go ahead and save. All right. Here's a trick. So to show you how much better this file is compared to what you would have gotten, I'm going to go back to the systems tab, add a new biped, and I'm going to make it smaller than this guy over here. Okay. I'm going to go to the motion tab. And this time I'm going to load a file, a bib file. So go ahead, and this is the one we've just finished exporting. Go ahead and open it. Look, it's the same size and it didn't change. So it's it nicely retargeted. It didn't make the character as big as that. So which means that this file is going to be ready to put on my Iron Man character nicely without him becoming a giant. All right. So let's go now to my other 3D Studio Max scene. So here's our Iron Man. I'm using motion, uh, sorry, Octane Render. Let me just slide it off to the side and maximize this scene right here. Let me actually, I'm gonna turn off Octane, so kind of speed it up, okay? All right, so again, select one, or it doesn't have to be uh, the pelvic bone or the beep bone. You can select any bone and go to load file. And we're gonna go to before you uh, quick 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 note here. Make sure you get out of the figure mode, okay? Before you load that file, so get out of figure mode. And I have another file on here, so just disregard that. And I'll go to load file. And we're gonna pick up that bib file that we exported with the correct uh, size. Open it. And there we have it. We have our Iron Man ah, doing all that <laughs> craziness. So look at that. It, it didn't mess up the mesh or make it too big, but you can actually see the character, you know, with the new motion capture. And again, to prove, look at the fingers. Does same, um, you know, crooked fingers that we had in the motion capture file in there. Don't worry about that again. In your suit, when you're calibrating, those are things that you have to fix. But now, the awesome thing is that you have your file from Axis Neuron, you know, this file that we're working with, inside of 3D Studio Max and on your Iron Man character. So, let me pause real quick and so he's our Iron Man, and we get to see what he looks like in uh, rendered mode. All 
All right, let me hold hold on a sec. All right, so when I paused, I was actually applying um, octane properties to this model. So I really what I did was just go octane properties and make sure it's movable proxy. Okay, so that way we can actually see the animation. And so here it goes. So as I'm I'm dragging this character, you will see you'll be able to see the update over here in the scene. So these are Iron Man animated looking buff. So I hope that was help, um, uh, helpful. And w once you've finished again your capture session, um, just know that you you have confidence that you'll be able to take this animation into 3D Studio Max, and the finger animation, you know, will be able to translate properly into 3d studio max so again don't forget to subscribe feel free to again leave me some comments and questions and i'll do my best to answer them but uh there you go you have iron man in your scene with the motion capture data from the axis neural and your motion capture your perception neural motion capture suit all right enjoy guys